Hello lads and ladies and welcome back. Welcome back for another video on the channel. Looking forward to today. It is Fleetwood Town against Lincoln City. Lincoln, you know, our friends over recent years. Again, there's been some good battles. You know, a, a result last week, you know, you know, last season where we won 2 1 on my 21st birthday. But you only look 16. Uh well, for, um, even that's pushing it, I think. So Lincoln come to town. It's Fleetwood Town against Lincoln City. Again, Lincoln are a good football club. We've got some excellent excellent fans, one of the best home supports in the league, them and Portsmouth are just you know, on another level, you know, they make noise and you know, get behind the team and Mark Kennedy got sat this week, two defeats in a row, um, again lost to Burton last week, Danny Manjoyu getting sent off and again lost to Peterborough the week before but Peterborough are an excellent side and Lincoln's record at Peterborough isn't very good at all, in fact it's you know terrible to be fair, Lee Johnson's you know said the culture needs to change and he's you know, oh, done a couple of things about it. he said in you know a recent interview in a recent fans forum as well uh, and the atmosphere around the football club seems positive again you know it seemed positive when he came in positive that you know the issues off the pitch have been addressed you know you know openly and freely with supporters but he said it every time this football club recently has had a little bit of glimmer and a little bit of hope there's been a storm and obviously storm barbie at the moment and i'm just hoping there's not another storm coming fleetwood's way today and if you could like and subscribe, it would be massively appreciated. We are so close to 12,000 subscribers. I think at the last count, we're about 140 off and we're trying to hit it by the end of this month. If you could like this video, we're going to go for a big like goal today. 250. Thanks so much for the support recently. That is, you know, unbelievable. Fleetwood Town injuries wise as well, we are back fit. Brendan will do his back in training, which is unbelievable news. Again, our goal scorer at Carlisle, and you know, our only goal scorer for a little bit of time, is back. Adam Montgomery seems to be back in training um, as well. Obviously, Stock is getting fully fit. Marriott is flying three goals in three. Mark Kennedy did a good job last season. What was expected of them, you know, finishing the top 12, they did that. Probably a little bit better than what they expected. But this season, they should be pushing on for that top six. That top 10 area you know, with the squad they've got injuries have killed them a little bit Mark Kennedy did a, a decent job overall it was kind of a bit like Scott Brown sit behind the ball and counter attack and that's why like Fleetwood they were better against the better sides they won at Plymouth they won at Ipswich last season and you know we're very good in those performances so I'm expecting a tough game today and uh, uh, again a new manager bounce you know we didn't see it on the opening day under Lee Johnson but Lincoln City might see it today here at Highbury Johnson you know has had a couple of games now you know won a couple of games lost a couple of games we've only lost against Oxford who are absolutely flying and top of the league on points per game you know and you know really doing well in, you know in league one with Portsmouth up there as well um, and Wickham are a very good side they beat us 4-1 and we were fully deserved of the victory we were you know nowhere near the level but you know you listen to those two sides you know you'd probably lose two you you know, most times, you know, you know, when you play them. Hello, ben. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, some could say we work together, you know. So if you don't know, this is my co-host from the League One live streams. Jake, how are we doing, mate? I'm oh, good, mate. So before we start, last season, I've got a little bit of a gift for you. Now, last season, we had a little bit of a bet. We're going to insert the picture here. Now... <laughs> you look good in a Lincoln shirt, Ben. Oh, he's back. Now, last season, Napa's had to wear this shirt, as you can see, in its all its glory. Lincoln City actually got relegated that season. Just, 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 just to factor that in there, you know. Nothing against Lincoln, just him. <laughs> so I had to wear this shirt. Jake, I'll tell you what, it'd be nice. This video isn't sponsored by JD, by the way. If you'd like to, you know, slide in, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you, mate. Jake, the first one, enjoy. Thank you. Sue, my favourite person from Lincoln, how are we doing? I'm with my favourite tea lopper, so I'm happy. You were that here, lads. Um, <laughs> Jake just been a bit childish in the background. Sue, um, what's your thoughts today? I uh, think we're going to play with freedom, hopefully do some attacking, and maybe see Jack Vale. Again, obviously you, are, you have been strikeless, haven't you, recently as well. Mark Kennedy went in the week. Were you a bit sad or relieved? I was quite sad because I liked him and I thought we'd done well. But then when you reflect on it and when he did a Joey Barton on one of our players, then you knew yeah. it was time to go. Nobody wants a Joey Barton. Mm. Sue, what is your score prediction for today? It's going to be 1-0. Two? To us, of course. I would <laughs> never go against my own team. You mean, you're managerless. Yep. What's been the thoughts this week? 
Um, relief. Really? Relief. Because I was about to ask you, yeah. do you really think he's doing a good job? Because I thought he was doing okay and what was expected. Mm. You've got the lowest amount of possession in the league with Cheltenham yeah. on 41.1%. Yeah. You won away at some big results that last season I thought he got away with mm -hmm. because if he didn't win those games of football against a side that you should have beaten, questions would have been asked. Yeah, I think if you look at all the attacking metrics, Ben, we're pretty much down the bottom of the league for everything. And the club, have, from the standpoint the club have said is, we want player, our players to go on to the Championship and the Premier League, and they're not going to do that by being out of possession all the time. And we don't have the ball, we hardly have the ball. So, look, I think he got away with a couple last year. We beat Ipswich, we beat Sheffield United this year, bought him a bit of time, but going forward, we're not good enough. All right, Bailey, what's, Aye, your, okay. what's your score prediction today, mate? 2-1, uh, um, Fleetwood. Goal scorers? Junior and Jack Marriott. Love that. And uh, Madison, score prediction? 2-1. Goal scorers? Uh, Mario and Stockley. Uh, Stephen Bradley's going to be the favourite because we've approached him, but he's not the one that I want. Who do you want? <sighs> Chris Cohen. Chris Cohen, okay. Forest player. Um, he's player been a been, yeah, yeah, very good player. Been a coach at Luton Town under Rob Edwards, so he's got some pedigree. He's got he'll have fresh ideas. Don't have any experience, but sometimes you know you look at John Senio and don't we? Can know about oh. it. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Cheers, Tom. <laughs> uh, just finally, what's your score prediction today? Because obviously we did beat you here last season, yeah. and the season before you drew. Yeah. You know, although you, you know you think that you're better than Fleetwood, just because you finished above us the last two seasons, uh, yeah. you know you haven't managed to beat us. A bar that scully, you know, yeah. brace, and you now we obviously he left Lincoln, didn't he? Yeah. Forty-six games over a season is not a fluke, mate. One game is. Um, what I would say for a prediction, I think I'm going to go Fleetwood 1, Lincoln 2. I think we're going to be very attacking today. I think we're going to let the shackles go a bit. And I think we're going to, we're going to put you to the sword because we've threatened to do it a few times. Can I just say, by the way, right, this is more than just a game of football in League 1. And I tell you what, I'd love it if we beat him. <laughs> love it. Again, they're about to kick off. They've got 3-4-3. Three, three. Jensen, Jackson, O'Connor, Mitchell. Sorry to one side, Burrows, the other. Erihan, Hamilton, you know, Smith, uh, Ackett, um, you know, all in that team. It's a very, very good team. Teddy Bishop on one side, who scored a great sense of last season. We've started well, and Marriott's at the focal point of it. Again, he's got down the side a couple of times, got a good ball in. But again, Jensen there to collect. Ah! Oh! Well, it's 1 0 to Lincoln, and again we trail at home. Lee Johnson talks well, everyone talks well. Every time we have a, you know, a bit of a, bit of a kind of upbeat feeling around the football club, it gets, you know, left around us. And after, what, six minutes, Lincoln Lee, V to the reach to the wide, Rico Hackett kept it alive, up the corner, and Alex Mitchell puts it away. We trail again at Highbury, it's with Neil. Lincoln won. It's just so frustrating because every week you put your hopes up for this. You know, I, I build my life around this football club, all my work, everything. And you kind of get new hope. You have an international break and you think, 4-1 defeat two weeks ago, that's totally forgotten about. New week, you know, you hear Lee Johnson speak new things, new players back from injury. And you start to worry if the problems are running deeper than, you know, injuries. This hurts. Lincoln, as you expect, have gone into a really, really good, you know, good shape, you know, behind the ball, but again, look really dangerous when they've not got the ball. And, you know, have lined up very well since the goal. That first goal has been massive for them. You go a goal down, it's a totally different game. But again, been impressed by, you know, by the shape and the structure since, you know, they scored that goal. I mean, we're half an hour in and there's been no real tempo to our play. The pressing is nowhere to be seen and we're a goal down. It's been a poor half hour. I'm starting to ask questions like, what is the problem? Because there's no final ball, there's no press. You know, there's absolutely nothing going for us at this moment in time. And they're going to play for us at ease. I'm getting really, really frustrated. At the end of the tether, you know, we're watching football, we're watching Fleetwood. <laughs> they're just sitting in the shape and saying, break us down. And we, we physically cannot do it. We, we, 
you've got beef gravy, you've got chicken gravy, you've got even arrowhead will be a, you know, a taste of difference, you know, M&S, you know, different type of gravy because he is special, really, really, what a player he is. They're very narrow in, you know, the defensive approach, you know, there's actually a body, you know, three or four yards from each other, very compact, the way he's down the sides and again, our creativity down the front has been poor. Now this season really, Junior's kind of come up recently, but Again, we've caused havoc from a, a wing area, getting the ball into the box, testing the goalkeeper. Who'd have thought playing against a side so narrow and you know, really good at what they're doing, sitting in a great shape, you know, narrowly, you know, getting the ball out wide, cut, cut, getting across into the box, may cause a little bit of danger. Junior's the only, well, the only player that looks like he's going to you know, have a go again, half turn, again, the shot kind of went. I want to fill two goals, but again, it's better. I want to see players have a go. I want to see players have a bit of a fight because we've not had that today. Oh. And the fact I've got Jay Tong stuck in my head, smiling, smirking at me while this is going on. Oh. I kind of think like, I'm here frustrated, really angry. But that's down to Lincoln as well because the way they speak, they set themselves up, the way they've, you know, they scored the goal, obviously got it. Up until then it was two sides kind of similar in the game. No side really did anything. But they set up really, really well. And they've, you know, Hamilton and Error in midfield have been excellent. You know, Last Torrington's been ace as well. You know, Burrows. I mean, you know what you're going to get from the kid, a compact display. And they're a good team. Oh, he's done so well. Oh, what a ball. They break free again. Ethan Hamilton, wow, what a roar. Again, stops it through. What a tackle by Boston. Well, Toto's been sent off, a long ball over the top. Toto makes a challenge, takes on to the team, as he'd all say. But our discipline record, in terms of red card, Lynch, Earl against Shrewsbury, CJ against you know, Orion, you know, this one, you know, uh, Hennigan, who we're missing today against Wicked. Five red cards, we've played 12 League One matches. Earl's got six bookings before today as well. That's something that needs addressing. Lincoln fans in sound voice and you know they deserve to be. And, you know fans are proud of the team performance because they've put in a real shift this second half, even the first half, to not even allow us an absolute sniff. And we've been poor, but they've been brilliant and you know not let us have absolutely anything. And before you criticise us, look at what they've done. That's the always with the way I look at it. Come to our ground, our home turf, and win easily. Really? It's a soft goal. It was two sides that didn't play the best, if I'm honest with you, but Lincoln got the goal. And would they have played that way if they wouldn't have scored that early? Probably not. Probably played a bit better and gone for a goal, but they were excellent, you know, after the goal. And we were awful. Boom string around at the stadium. We have a fans forum on Thursday. Things lifted. It's not getting any better, is it? Really isn't. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Hope you did enjoy it. I did enjoy watching it. I'm going to be honest with you. Thanks so much again. And please like, please subscribe. And well done to Lincoln. All the best for the rest of the season. Look, you've just got to hope one day it'll get better. But Lincoln are a good side. And you know, they'll do all right this season. They're a good fan base. Someone that you know, I've taken a soft spot to since they've been in League One. And just so frustrating at the moment being a Fleetwood fan. And yeah, please like, please subscribe. and. I'll see you at Reading on Tuesday night. What a glory that is.